Today, in this video, our lens zooms into the life of no other than the multi-talented Hollywood Sam Elliott. The incredible story of this entertainment giant will hold you in powerful grips. I got one last ride left in me. Can you keep up? With a net worth of $20 million, he has become a prominent figure in the entertainment industry. Elliot is best known for his work in movies, where he has left a lasting impression on audiences with his unforgettable performances. Join us as we unveil the life and career of Sam Elliott, the Hollywood cowboy. Let's plunge headfirst into the enchanting realm inhabited by the irresistible allure and timeless talent of none other than Sam Elliott, a veritable Hollywood legend. With his rugged charm, calm demeanor, and unmistakable voice, Elliot has left an indelible mark on television and film for over five decades. From his early days as a character actor to becoming a legendary Western star and everything in between, Sam Elliott possesses the acting prowess to bring any character to life. This American actor has garnered numerous accolades throughout his career, including a Screen Actors Guild Award and a National Board of Review Award. He has also been recognized with nominations for an Academy Award, two Golden Globe Awards, and two Emmy Awards. In 2018, Elliot's talents shone brightly in the musical drama A Star Is Born, where he earned critical acclaim and nominations for prestigious awards. His unforgettable role garnered him an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor, along with nominations at the Critics' Choice Movie Awards and the Screen Actors Guild Awards. Notably, he also clinched a National Board of Review Award. Recently, Elliot showcased his brilliance as Shay Brennan in the American drama miniseries 1883, a role that earned him the esteemed Screen Actors Guild Award for outstanding performance by a male actor in a miniseries or television movie. Recognizable for his tall, lean physique, notable mustache, and deep, resonant voice, Elliot embarked on his acting journey with minor appearances before making his breakthrough in the drama Lifeguard released in 1976. He further captivated audiences in popular films such as Mask in 1985 and took on memorable roles in Louis L'Amour adaptations like The Quick and the Dead, 1987, and Conagher released in 1991, earning him a Golden Globe nomination. Elliot's talent continued to shine in the 1990s, with notable performances in films like Gettysburg, 1993, and Tombstone in 1993, where he portrayed iconic historical figures. He also left an indelible mark as the enigmatic stranger in the cult classic The Big Lebowski, a hit movie released in 1998. Sam Elliott's impressive career is proof of his remarkable talent and versatility as an actor. With his timeless presence, he has cemented his place as a true Hollywood legend, leaving audiences captivated with every performance. Echoes of History Sam Elliott, a true Texan at heart, was actually born in Sacramento, California in 1944. But don't let that fool you, because Sam's roots and spirit are deeply entwined with the Lone Star State. When he was just a teenager, his family packed up and moved to the beautiful city of Portland, Oregon. Now, Sam always had a fire burning inside him, a burning desire to become an actor. But like any young dreamer, he faced some obstacles along the way. One of his biggest challenges came from his father, who had doubts about Sam's chosen path. In fact, his father believed that Hollywood was just a far-fetched dream, and he encouraged Sam to pursue a more practical college degree. Despite his father's reservations, Sam enrolled at the University of Oregon, studying English and psychology. But deep down, he knew that his heart belonged on the stage, not in a classroom. So, with unwavering determination, he made the bold decision to drop out and return to his beloved Portland. There, he started a diploma course at Clark College. It was during his time at Clark College that Sam's talent truly blossomed. He landed a starring role in a college production of Guys and Dolls, where his captivating performance caught the attention of the local newspaper. The newspaper declared that Sam had a gift for acting and even suggested that he should pursue it professionally. Their words of encouragement echoed in Sam's ears, confirming what he had always believed deep down, that he was destined for greatness in the world of acting. 
But life has a way of throwing curveballs, and tragedy struck when Sam's father passed away from a sudden heart attack. This devastating loss shook Sam to his core, but it also fueled his determination to make his dreams a reality. So, with the memories of his father in his heart and a renewed sense of purpose, he packed his bags and set his sights on the bright city of Los Angeles. In the late 1960s, Sam arrived in the City of Angels, ready to conquer Hollywood. He worked tirelessly, juggling construction jobs to make ends meet while honing his acting skills. In between it all, he even found time to serve in the California Air National Guard. Nothing could deter Sam from his passion and his unwavering belief that he was meant to be on that silver screen. From those humble beginnings in Portland to the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, Sam Elliott's journey is a testament to his resilience, determination, and unmistakable talent. He defied the odds, proving all the doubters wrong, and became an enduring icon in television and film. With his rugged charm, deep voice, and a spirit that embodies the spirit of the Wild West, Sam Elliott has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry, captivating audiences for over five decades. Rainbow Days Sam Elliott started his acting career by playing different characters. He had the right look, voice, and presence for Western movies. In 1969, he got his first TV role as Dan Kenyon in an episode of the show Judd for the Defense. The episode was called The Crystal Maze. That same year, he appeared in another show called Lancer. He played a character named Renslow in an episode called Death Bait. He also appeared in two more episodes of the series between 1970 and 1971. In one of his early film roles, Sam Elliott played a card player in the movie Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. The movie came out in 1969, and in the opening scene, his character watched as the Sundance Kid, played by Robert Redford, showed off his shooting skills. During the 1970 to 1971 TV season, Sam Elliott had a main role in the popular series Mission Impossible. He played a character named Doug Robert in several episodes. Starting in 1972, Sam Elliott became known as the Cowboy Walker in a series of commercials for Falstaff Beer. He appeared as this character in multiple commercials. In 1975, Sam Elliott was cast in a leading role as Charles Wood in a TV film called I Will Fight No More Forever. The film was about Chief Joseph's resistance to the U.S. government's plan to move his Nez Perce Indian tribe to a reservation in Idaho. From 1976 to 1977, he starred as Sam Damon in a miniseries called Once an Eagle. The miniseries was based on a novel by Anton Myrer. Sam Elliott acted alongside Amy Irving, Kim Hunter, C.L.U. Gulager, and Melanie Griffith. He also had a big role in the movie Lifeguard, which came out in 1976. In the movie, he plays a lifeguard in Southern California who rethinks his life choices after receiving an invitation to a reunion. However, the movie didn't get great reviews. Variety, a magazine that reviews movies, said the movie was unsatisfying. They also said that Sam Elliott, who had a good-looking appearance, portrayed a character who seemed more like a passive observer than someone who was in control of his own life. A script-to-life actor. In 1977, Elliott took on the role of Tom Keating in a miniseries called Aspen. Later on, in 1981, he played a character who was both an abusive husband and a murderer in another miniseries called Murder in Texas. He acted alongside Farrah Fawcett and his future wife Catherine Ross in that series. In 1985, he starred with Cheryl Ladd in a miniseries called A Death in California. In 1979, Elliot appeared in a popular miniseries adaptation of Louis L'Amour's novel, The Sackets. He co-starred with Tom Selleck in that series. They teamed up again in 1982 for another Louis L'Amour adaptation called The Shadow Riders. Elliot had a supporting role in the movie Mask in 1985, which starred Cher. He played a tough and rough around the edges, but ultimately sympathetic father figure in the Christmas film Prancer in 1989. Throughout his career, he made guest appearances on several TV shows, including Felony Squad, Gunsmoke, Lancer, and Hawaii Five-0. He also appeared in many TV movies, one of which was Buffalo Girls in 1995, where he portrayed the famous Wild Bill Hickok. In 1986, 
Elliot starred in a TV movie called Gone to Texas, which was based on a biography of Sam Houston. This role allowed him to portray Houston as both a fighter and a skilled political leader. The film depicted Houston's downfall as governor of Tennessee, his return to his Cherokee Nation friends, and his pivotal role in the liberation of Texas from Mexico in 1836. In 1989, Elliot acted alongside Patrick Swayze in the movie Roadhouse, where he played the character Wade Garrett, a bouncer, mentor, and friend to Swayze's character. In 1991, Elliot and his wife Catherine Ross starred in the film adaptation of the Louis L'Amour novel Conagher. Elliot portrayed Brigadier General John Buford in the 1993 historical drama Gettysburg, and in the same year, he played the character Virgil Earp in the Western film Tombstone. In 1998, Elliot took on the role of the stranger, who narrates the story of the Big Lebowski. He co-starred in the movie We Were Soldiers in 2002, which was based on the book We Were Soldiers Once and Young. In that film, he portrayed the character Command Sergeant Major Basil L. Plumley. Elliot also played General Thaddeus Ross in the 2003 action film Hulk. Hollywood veteran. In 2005, something really interesting happened to Sam Elliott. He appeared in a movie called Thank You for Smoking, where he played a character who used to be a famous cowboy in Marlboro cigarette advertisements. But here's the twist. His character had developed lung cancer. It was a powerful role that showcased Elliott's acting skills. The following year, in 2006, Elliott lent his voice to an animated film called Barnyard. He provided the voice for a character named Ben the Cow, the actor would later admit that bringing a character to life with his voice was a fun and different experience for him. Then, in 2007, Elliot joined the cast of a comic book adaptation called Ghost Rider. He portrayed a character named Carter Slade in the movie. Around the same time, he appeared in another film called The Golden Compass, which was based on Philip Pullman's popular trilogy, His Dark Materials. In the film, he played the character Lee Scoresby, it was pretty exciting for Elliot to be part of such big productions with talented actors like Nicole Kidman, Christopher Lee, and Daniel Craig. In 2009, Elliot had a smaller role in a movie called Up in the Air. He portrayed the chief pilot of American Airlines in the film. It's always interesting to see actors in different types of roles, and Elliot was able to show his range by taking on this character. He also made appearances on the TV show Parks and Recreation, playing a character named Ron Dunn, who was the equivalent of the main character Ron Swanson, but with a hippie twist. In 2010, Elliot provided his voice again, this time for the animated film Marmaduke. He voiced a character named Buster, also known as Chupadogra. Elliot continued to take on different roles in various films. In 2014, he had a supporting role in a thriller called The Company You Keep, and he played a college football coach in the drama film Draft Day. In 2015, Elliot appeared in the comedy Grandma, where he acted opposite Lily Tomlin. He played a former love interest of Tomlin's character, who was trying to help her pregnant granddaughter. That same year, he appeared in the romantic film I'll See You in My Dreams, and also had a role in an independent film called Digging for Fire. It's always great to see actors explore different genres and take on diverse roles. In 2015, Elliot won the Critics' Choice Television Award for Best Guest Performer in a Drama for his role on the FX Network's show. Winning an award was such a proud moment for him and a testament to his talent and dedication as an actor. His Spotlight Movie Did you know that starting in 2015, something exciting happened for Sam Elliott? He became a regular cast member in the Netflix series called The Ranch, where he acted alongside Ashton Kutcher and Danny Masterson. During the same year, he also had a recurring role as Phil Milstein in the second season of another show called Grace and Frankie. In terms of film, Elliot lent his voice to an animated movie called The Good Dinosaur. He provided the voice for a character named Butch. Fast forward to 2017, Elliot starred in a movie called The Hero. He played the character Lee Hayden, an aging Western icon who used to have a golden voice but whose best performances are now in the past. His work in the film received a lot of praise from critics, with one writer even saying that Elliot was perfect in the role. 
Later in the same year, Elliot starred in another film called The Man Who Killed Hitler and then The Bigfoot. Moving on to 2018, Elliot had a role in the movie A Star Is Born. He portrayed the character Bobby Maine, who is the older half-brother of the lead character played by Bradley Cooper. Elliot's performance in the film impressed both critics and audiences, and he even won the National Board of Review Award for Best Supporting Actor. He was also nominated for other prestigious awards, including the Screen Actors Guild Award and the Academy Award, which was his first ever nomination. In 2002, Elliot took on the role of Shay Brennan in a miniseries called 1883, which serves as a prequel to the popular series Yellowstone. The show follows Brennan as he leads a group of immigrants from Texas into the wild and untamed lands of the Western Plains. It explores the connection to the Dutton family and their eventual migration to Montana. Elliot's performance in the miniseries earned him the Screen Actors Guild Award for Outstanding Performance by a Male Actor in a Miniseries or Television Movie. Perfect Voice Charisma Not only has Elliot he graced the silver screen with his acting prowess, but he has also lent his deep, rich voice to a variety of commercials that will leave you hanging on every word. Think of Elliot's voice captivating your attention as he narrates commercials for Dodge, IBM, Kinney Drugs, Union Pacific, and the American Beef Council. Yes, the same American Beef Council that was previously narrated by the legendary Robert Mitchum. Elliot stepped in and brought his own unique appeal to the role, leaving a lasting impression on viewers. But that's not all. Since 2017, Elliot has been the voice of Coors Beer, infusing the brand with his signature Western charm. Imagine hearing his velvety voice extol the virtues of this Colorado brewed beer, making you thirst for a sip of that refreshing goodness. In 2010, Ram Trucks recognized Elliot's incredible vocal talents and hired him to do the voiceover for their Ram Heavy Duty truck commercial. His voice has become synonymous with the Ram brand, and he has been the voice behind their commercials ever since. Just imagine the power and authority in his voice as he talks about the strength and durability of these mighty trucks. And let's not forget that Elliot is the voice of none other than Smokey Bear himself. That's right, the iconic forest fire prevention mascot shares a birthday with Elliot, and he has been bringing Smokey Bear to life with his captivating voice since 2018. It's as if the universe destined these two to come together. Elliot's voice has even graced the world of sports. He narrated the team introductions for Super Bowl XLV between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Green Bay Packers. Can you imagine the excitement as his voice reverberated through Cowboys Stadium, creating an atmosphere of anticipation and adrenaline for the biggest game of the season? But Elliot's talents don't stop there. In 2020, he joined the cast of Family Guy as the new mayor of Quahog, the cousin of the beloved late mayor Adam West. His voice brings a new energy and charm to the animated series, leaving viewers enthralled with every line. And if that's not impressive enough, Elliot even lent his voice to Joe Biden's Go From There campaign ad in 2020. His voice, filled with warmth and sincerity, perfectly complemented the message of hope and unity. So whether it's captivating commercials, iconic mascots, or beloved animated characters, Sam Elliott's voice has the power to charm and mesmerize. Personal life and net worth. Prepare to be touched by a heartwarming tale of love and longevity in Hollywood. In 1984, Sam Elliott, the talented actor with a captivating voice, tied the knot with the esteemed actress Catherine Ross. It was a special union for Ross, as Elliott became her fifth husband. Their union brought forth a precious gift, their daughter Cleo, Cleo, following in her parents' artistic footsteps, has pursued a music career and currently resides in the beautiful coastal town of Malibu, California. It must be a joy for Elliot and Ross to see their daughter flourish in her creative endeavors. Speaking of Malibu, it holds a special place in Elliot and Ross's hearts. In the 1970s, they made a wise investment in a stunning seaside ranch in Malibu, which has become their cherished home. The tranquil beauty of the ocean waves and the coastal breeze surely serve as a backdrop to their love story. But their love extends beyond the shores of Malibu. Elliot also maintains a property in the serene Willamette Valley in Oregon. 
It seems that he has found solace and a connection to his roots in this picturesque region. In a bittersweet turn of events, Elliot inherited his childhood home in Northeast Portland, following his mother's passing in 2012, at the remarkable age of 96. It must hold a special place in his heart, a reminder of his upbringing and the memories shared within those walls. Despite their fame and success, Elliot and Ross have chosen to lead a relatively low-profile existence, cherishing their love and family away from the prying eyes of the public. Their bond has endured over the years, and their marriage stands as one of the longest running in Hollywood. So despite the fame and glamour of Hollywood, Sam Elliott and Catherine Ross shine as a beacon of enduring love and happiness. They continue to walk hand in hand, facing life's joys and challenges together. Their love story stands as a testament to the power of true love. Sam has a net worth of $20 million. Merit Honors Sam Elliott's talent and dedication to his craft have not gone unnoticed in the entertainment industry. Throughout his career, he has received numerous accolades and nominations, solidifying his status as a respected and admired actor. His remarkable performances have garnered him recognition from esteemed award organizations. Among his accomplishments, Elliott has been honored with a Screen Actors Guild Award, a National Board of Review Award, and nominations for an Academy Award, two Primetime Emmy Awards, and two Golden Globe Awards. These prestigious acknowledgments speak to the depth of his talent and the impact he has made on the screen. In the realm of television, Elliott's work has earned him admiration and acclaim. His roles in the television film Conagher, 1991, and the miniseries Buffalo Girls, 1995, garnered him Golden Globe nominations for Best Actor in a Miniseries or Television Film and Supporting Actor in a Series, Miniseries, or Television Film, respectively. The latter also earned him a Primetime Emmy Award nomination for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Miniseries or Special. Furthermore, his exceptional voiceover performance in Robot Chicken 2012 to 2020 earned him a Primetime Emmy Award nomination for Outstanding Voiceover Performance. These nominations highlight Elliott's versatility and ability to captivate audiences in various genres. Elliott's guest role in Justified 2015 was met with critical acclaim and earned him a Critics' Choice Television Award for Best Guest Performer in a Drama Series. This recognition further exemplifies his skill in bringing memorable characters to life. In the realm of films, Elliott's contributions have left a lasting impact. His portrayal in Up in the Air 2009 as part of the ensemble cast garnered him a nomination for the Critics' Choice Movie Award for Best Acting Ensemble. This recognition underscores his ability to seamlessly collaborate with other talented actors to create captivating performances. However, it was his role in A Star is Born 2018 that truly shone a spotlight on Elliot's talent. Starring alongside Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper, Elliot's performance earned him the National Board of Review Award and nominations for the A. Acta International, Academy Award, Critics' Choice, and Screen Actors Guild, SAG, awards for Best Supporting Actor. Additionally, he received another SAG Award nomination for Outstanding Cast, showcasing his ability to contribute to the overall excellence of a production. These accolades reflect the profound impact of his performance in this acclaimed adaptation. Most recently, Elliot's role in the Paramount Plus miniseries, 1883 from 2021 to 2022, was met with critical acclaim, earning him the SAG Award for Outstanding Actor in a Miniseries or Movie. This recognition highlights his ability to captivate audiences and deliver outstanding performances in both television and film. In summary, Sam Elliott's remarkable talent and dedication to his craft have earned him a well-deserved array of awards and nominations, showcasing his versatility, skill, and ability to leave a lasting impression on both the small and big screens. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.